Hi again. Welcome back to the Top Solid Modeling tutorial. In step six, we're going to create another boss. This time, though, when we create our sketch, we're going to introduce you to some new tools. We're going to start by using the project command. This command is useful for copying edges that exist on the model already. From there, we're going to learn another trick with circles, doing circles by two points. Finally, we'll learn how to dimensionally constrain our sketch. And then we'll wind up again using that boss command that you learned in step five. Let's see how it all comes together. OK, let's have a look at step six. I'm going to bring this back over, move down to step six. In this case, it looks like we're adding yet another boss. Uh, if we look at the instructions, it says to create a sketch on the bottom face of the pocket. So here, I'm going to choose the bottom face right there of our pocket, and I'll start a sketch. I'm going to create this profile, and then I'm going to use the boss command to bring it to a height of a quarter of an inch. Let's have a look. Sounds simple to me. So I'm going to select this face, right mouse button click, and choose sketch. Like that, you can see I'm now drawing down inside the part. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this icon here, which allows me to view the sketch from the top. Now, so you know, in my tutorials, I'm using a space mouse to manipulate my view. You can also hold your middle mouse button to rotate, hold your right button to pan, and of course your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. When you're inside of a sketch, you can always use these three icons to control the views as well. View sketch from top, isometric, or zoom on sketch. So let's look at the sketch from the top. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the contour command. In fact, what I'm going to do is just freely sketch something. I'm going to come from here down to there. Now I'm going to switch to an arc mode. In this case, I'm just going to use the icon to switch to arc, come back up, and up, and finish. Next, I'm going to use project to project my arc from that edge there. Finally, I'm going to use the trim command. I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to leave myself on profile and choose keep selected part. And watch what happens. You can see it, it's previewing what it's going to remove, and it's removed everything we don't need. Perfect. Now that we're trimmed up, now it's time to dimension this. So let's add a few driving dimensions. Now, this is the constraint function. This will get you into what you're looking for. Or again, you can use the right mouse button. So if I go to constraint through the right click, I choose from here to here. I can type in the value that I'm looking for, which should be 1.5. Perfect. Maybe I want the radius of this to be 3 16 Now, here's a fun little fact. I could type 0.187 and a half because I know that that's what 3 16 is. But let's say you don't know the decimal equivalent. No big deal. Top solid's got your back. Type 3, divide 16. We can work with fractions. We can work however you want. OK? And then finally, I'm going to add a dimension from my center point to my 0 there. We'll bring this out here just to make it easy to see, and we'll make it 031 and a half. Perfect. Like that, my sketch is blue. Now all I have to do is add my boss. Now here's another fun little fact for you. If I right click while I have a command open, the contextual command is going to be based off of that dialog. So in order for me to get to my other commands, I have to make sure I'm not in a function. Here I'll choose boss, and this boss I want to come up to a quarter of an inch. Validate, and I'm done with step six of this tutorial.